So it's day five of my fast, and uh, I actually did uh, 25 and a half hours. That wasn't necessarily by choice. I wasn't trying to test myself in any way. I didn't feel hungry, which is very strange. Um, I just felt that um, you know that we, we were going out for a meal in the, in the countryside here in the sum, Somerset, and uh, you know we decided that we had to you know do a bit of running about first, and we were stuck in a bit of traffic. So yeah, it ended up being 25 and a half hours. I was very surprised. Not once did I run out of energy. Um, the only minor side effect I had was probably very slight blurred visions for a couple of seconds every now and again. Nothing that I actually felt faint or anything like that. It was just, uh, it was strange. Probably, you know, my body was craving a bit of energy. Um, and yeah, so, so th there was uh, essentially no hunger. But when I went out for the, you know, th there was the belly rumbling. There was all the, the, the telltale signs of when you don't feed yourself. But the actual hunger went there. You know, the, not the hunger sickness and the looking around and thinking, I've just got to eat something. I've just got to eat something. Um, it wasn't there. It just wasn't there. I, I, I seriously put it down to the earth. The earth that I have, which I perhaps I want to show everybody what, just for the people who missed my first um, vlog on this, perhaps I want to get this out and just uh, let you guys see what I have. So I have a tablespoonful of this, this earth every single day. Um, that's from Ancient Purity, is a, is a site I know and trust very, very much because uh, one of my friends used to uh, be part ownership of it and he told me all what goes on with their stringent testing there. So I just I just trust it. And, um, you know, I, I really do put it down to that because when I get up in the morning sometimes I might have just a, just a slight hunger sickness like you would get in the morning before you have breakfast where it almost puts you off of breakfast because you feel a little bit ill. And I would take a tablespoonful of that, that in 300 millilitres of water, drink it straight down, obviously sweat it down afterwards. It's a bit pasty, it's tasteless, but it's, um, it's a bit pasty, like texture. And, uh, and, and that would go, and I just wouldn't get it back. So yeah, that was, it. That was you know, really interesting to go that long. Um, obviously, I don't want to do that all the time because we were pushing all into different days and different times of eating. And the next day, maybe less time then of, of actually fasting. I want to keep a regular thing going. So um, what was interesting as well, we were looking into um, actually, you know, I had symptoms of like a mild flu yesterday, which which I always attribute to um, to actually when when you're dieting or you're detoxing, you, you definitely get these feelings. I didn't actually realize it was a known thing. I thought it was just, a, they would just call it like a withdrawal symptoms or something like that. But it was actually Rita May pointed out to me on Facebook that uh, the actual name for it is is the... Herxheimer reaction, and that's basically the the achy joints, the headaches, and all the things that are associated with detoxifying, and how it's pushing it all out of your body, and that's why you, you your body's having like a purge, and that's why you feel that way. So that that was really interesting. If you get a chance, look look up that. It's, it's uh, Herxheimer is spelled H E R X H E I M E R. So uh, put put that in and just have a little read of the, I mean, there's loads of writing on it, but just have a little read of the first paragraphs and it sums up exactly how we feel when we, um, when we detoxify. Um, another thing I did because I knew about the toxins was um, I decided to look at, you know, before I found out all this, it was a natural reaction. I decided to look at the atmosphere that was in work because um, I, I'm not just talking like feelings wise, like energy wise, um, that, that's always quite good. We have really healthy conversations and things like that, which is very important. But, um, you know, I'm talking about the actual what you're breathing in when you're in work. Um, obviously, there's there's an element of we're, we're all quite brainy to if we're going to do anything that's harmful. We do it outside in the fresh air. We stand up wind um, from it. So so dust and things are blowing away from us. Um, so but what one thing I did think about was that we had uh, some gas heaters in there because we're obviously building, uh, we're, I'm building the extension at the moment and, and the kitchen and uh, bathroom, lots of other stuff. And um, part of it was we had to, we, we obviously never had any radiators in the new section, which was sectioned off from the original section of the house. But we did have two gas heaters going. One was a propane one, like a, like a blower heater. So it's got the fan and the flames blowing directly into the room. That was, that was one of them, that was a propane one. And the other one, it was only small, 
and the other one was uh, was a butane heater, like like you get some or we had years ago in caravans where they they get the front element, which is like a white um, chalk thing with loads of holes in it. It lets the gas out very slow and just burns very slow into the room. So neither of them obviously had a flu. Um, they they were they both just expelled everything that they had in them. In you know when they burnt the gas off into the room. So I thought well, it'd be interesting to see exactly what what's actually being given off there and being the fact that you know I'm a builder and and all of us are you know got various equipment that we pay hundreds sometimes thousands of pounds for um one guy the 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 plumber I'm working with he he had a, a machine that tested lots of things in the atmosphere a lot of things but uh, one of one of the things that we decided we wanted to test was carbon monoxide um because obviously that can also cause those sort of feelings headaches maybe dizziness um, blurred vision so uh, we we did a test. We did a test on the, on the actual background atmosphere and the heaters themselves, like directly above the source. And what we found was that um, this this sort of miniature compressor machine, which actually sucks the air through, which you calibrate and then use, um, we found that the um, the actual background atmosphere is very worse when you first start the heaters up, which is when they're not really burning very efficient. Was two parts per million. So I mean that that's Anybody out there who sort of does any work on this, it's you know that two parts per million, you can stand that all day. It's, it's, it's no problem. And uh, it's not really any side effects from that at all. I mean, when it starts to get into sort of eight, ten parts per million, something like that, then then maybe you, you need to start thinking about your exposure time. Remember, I'm only there sort of seven, seven, eight hours a day. So, um, you know, two parts per million was nothing. And it, would, it wouldn't be on that whole time anyway. Not both of them. But we decided to leave them both on for a whole hour and test them at the beginning and test them at the end. And what we found was that the, the one old heater, the, the butane one, was actually giving off, once it got warm, it was giving off zero on the on the parts per million for carbon monoxide, which is burning straight into the room. So you would expect, you know, with all the fear mongering that uh, people do about uh, naked flames burning off into a room and things like that, you would expect it to be given off quite a bit, being 20 years old, but actually nothing it is a zero reading so that was great but the other one was giving off two parts per million so probably explains like the blower heater is a lot more intense and uh probably explains that background sort of um you know amount, amount of carbon monoxide in the air so we're not always inside anyway we're in and out and uh you know it's not it's not a problem we didn't have that we only have that heater on for sort of half an hour in the morning that's it so that was no problem but the um the, the other one I mean, I said yesterday on my vlog that um, I was going to the cafe today. Everybody thought I was mad because, uh, you know, not eating for so long and then sitting sitting on a table where everybody else is eating all the food that you would love to have, especially at a builder's cafe. Um, I, but I wanted to go along because I was quite happy with going along. I wanted to go along for the conversations. I didn't really want to... Uh, miss out on the relaxing time or sit back at the uh, the job by myself. So uh, so I went along and I, I treated myself to a latte, um, which was, which I said yesterday was a bit probably not really supposed to have, or I wouldn't, I wouldn't necessarily choose to have on this, but uh, you know, just, just as a one off, I thought I would have a latte since I'm not having a breakfast. I didn't really enjoy it. I drank it because I had, I obviously had to pay for it now. So um, I started drinking it, debated drinking it, leaving half and I just, I just drank it in the end, but the immediate effect was ten minutes later I got a headache, which didn't we didn't give up till um, till three hours later, four hours later. So I instantly regretted. It. I mean, I had no headaches, just a slight little maybe in the morning when I wake up, I had something one day, no headaches at all, and then suddenly I have this latte, and then I've got these um, you know background headaches constantly then for three hours. So I won't be doing that again. Um, it just it just wasn't worth it. And it didn't make me feel too great actually doing that. Um, I, I didn't feel like I was being true to myself. I know it's only a latte. People will say, oh, it's only a latte. It's just a little bit of milk in there. Maybe, maybe there's some caffeine in there. But uh, for me, it was um, it was almost like I I wasn't doing what I was supposed to do. So, uh, so yeah, that's, that's my uh, findings for today. And, um, you know, I'm, I've got the weekend now, uh, which is fantastic to... Um, you know, to keep everybody up to date a bit more. So I might, I might do some some videos during the day on the weekends, um, 
on the, on this weekend just because I'll have more time, I'll be more alert because what I find is when I get to this time of the day now, um, I'm actually ready to go to bed. Um, I've, I've had all that fasting, then I've eaten and then you feel that sleepiness after, you, after you've eaten and you feel like relaxing down. And of course I'm making these videos and uh, I, I don't feel totally and utterly connected. I, for, I feel more like I should be going to bed. So, um, you know, so the weekend will be really interesting because I'm going to make some during the day, which, uh, which is going to be a lot more when, at that point because I've been so, so alert today. So alert. There was no, um, no weakness, nothing. Um, if anything, I, I had to calm myself down because I would, when I got home from work this evening, um, naturally sort of getting home from work makes you feel like, oh, I'm home, you know, relaxed normally. I felt really hyper, really connected and I almost wanted to, I, I was, I was, trying to annoy everybody which was fun you know we, we all do that to each other here so um you know we're all, we're all um but i was over hyper and i started thinking come on calm down because in the minute what's going to happen is you're going through this stage where you're you're running around trying to make jokes and stupid noises and you know scare everybody and do stupid things like you do um and then you're going to crash in a minute so uh you, you know you're going to end up just sat down with no energy so I did calm myself down a bit. I had to, even though I'm doing a physical job all day, you know, I had to calm myself down. So, um, you know, it'd be nice to make some videos when I feel like that rather than this evening thing with the lights on, um, you know, and and, uh, and and trying to talk to you from a sort of tired place. I think there'll be more energy the weekend.